We live in a Midwest city that I like to describe as a big, small town. Our household consists of ourselves and our golden doodle Cyrus. We have lived in our current house now for about 10 years. Adam has done a lot to fix the place up and kind of make it ours. We've had the opportunity to do lots of little projects. Everything from building the pergola in our backyard to build our kitchen island and our coffee table to even some birdhouses in our backyard with our nieces and nephews. We have in a large backyard and that's one of the spaces we love to spend time in. And one of the things that I love about where we live is that it's close to family. And so whether it's you know Emily's sister or my brothers or our parents, they're all relatively close. Going to the family farm and going fishing or just running around is just a great experience to have with children. And um, again, I can see how much fun our nieces and nephews have, and I can't wait to have our, our child uh, enjoy, enjoy them. We started playing some more board games too recently, so Scrabble can get pretty intense. And that's something that we can really see doing with our future kids is playing a lot of board games. We'd love to travel both internationally and even just locally. So whether it's a day trip or a long multi-week, you know, excursion type of thing, we really love to go experience new things and we'd love to be able to take our children with us to those new experiences and really show them the world. I'm currently an architect full time at a firm downtown. One of the great things about it is it's really flexible work environment. I am a physician assistant here at a local endocrinology office. My clinic is literally three minutes away, which is really convenient. I've been with the same job now for about 10 years and I've been working full time, but as we expand our family, I think it's going to be in all of our best interests for me to go part time so I can spend more time with our children. We've always known that we wanted children in our lives. We've watched our nieces and nephews grow up and that's just been so much fun. And we feel like we're ready to have that privilege and joy in our lives to raise our own children. When it became clear to us that we would require fertility treatments to become pregnant, uh, we started looking at adoption a little bit more seriously. And the more we learned about it, the more we thought, wow, this was probably the right path for us all along. And so we're just really excited to start on this, on this journey and become parents. Adam is going to be a great father for a variety of reasons. He's probably the kindest, most patient person I know. I see him with our nieces and nephews and no matter what has gone on that week or that day or what is on his mind, he just puts all that aside and just wholeheartedly throws himself into making sure that they are happy and having fun in the moment. He's an architect, so he comes by that naturally. So I just know that when we have kids, we are going to have so many Legos around here, which I think will be a good thing. One of the things I really love about Emily is she's super independent and I just really respect her for that. She's strong-minded. She's the daughter of a teacher and she's constantly amazing me how much she's trying to learn. And I just know that as a mother, she's gonna do that with our children. I can't imagine a better mother, you know, instilling that belief in her children about being independent, pursuing their own dreams, helping nurture them along the way. We're really excited to bring a child into our home. We spent the last 10 years really focused on our relationship and, and building a strong foundation, but we're ready for that next step. And we're both looking forward to the challenge and all the joy and opportunity that comes with raising a child.